Hey guys, what's up, it's Jax of The Legend here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to both install and play both Java and Bedrock edition of Minecraft. Now, there has been a slight change to both of the installations of both of these, and now when you buy Java, you actually get Bedrock for free as well, and it's included in the same launcher, so the process is a lot more simple and cheaper. So, let's get going with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go up to our search bar and type in minecraft.net. Now, the link for this will be in the description down below, or you can copy and paste what I've copy, um, what I've got up here. And then we want to click enter. Make sure we spell it all correctly or copy it correctly, and we should be greeted with a page that looks like this. Now, there's two big green Get Minecraft buttons, and you've guessed it right. We got to click one of those. Either one works. Um, so click Get Minecraft. And it will take you to here where you click where you want to play. Now, I'm currently on my computer, so I'm going to be selecting that. So this is how you get Minecraft. Then you will be greeted with this. Buy Minecraft. Now, this is AUD 39.95, but if it's in USD, if you're in the US or Britain, it might be in a different sort of currency for you. Um, could be in euros. So the price may differ, um, but it'll be around 40 to 30 bucks normally. So click Buy Minecraft here then it'll take a little bit to load and then you want to sign in with Microsoft. Now, if you already have a Microsoft account, click sign in with Microsoft. But if you don't, you can sign up for free right here by clicking this link. Once you've done that, it'll take you through the steps of selecting a way to pay and then reviewing and confirming your order. Once you've done that, you can download it for Windows. But if you aren't on Windows, you can look at other download options. And if you click on this here, um, it allows you to download the launcher for Windows 7, 8 or Mac OS. So it gives you a few different options. But I've got Windows 10. So I'm going to click download launcher for Windows 10. And you can just download it like this. Now open up that download down here by clicking on it. Or it might be up here. It depends on what browser you're on. And it should open up a small thing like this. Now that box on your screen that I mentioned before won't look exactly the same as yours will take you through the installation process. You just want to follow through that reading and clicking next. And um, mine didn't do that just because I already have Minecraft installed. But either way, once you've installed it, there should be a icon either on your desktop or in your start menu like this. And you can type in Minecraft and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, when you open it up, you should be greeted with a with something that looks a bit like this. Now, you want to select your Microsoft login because you've got a Microsoft account, and it'll and you'll log into your Microsoft account here, either the one you used or the one you created. Now, mine's already found that uh, this is my Microsoft account here, Jack. So I'm just going to click Let's Play. And if you are already logged into your Xbox account or Microsoft account on your PC. Um, you'll get something like this and if it's a right Microsoft account, you can just click let's play. If not, you can change your account. Now we have this here. So this first tab here is Minecraft Java Edition. But if you want to play Minecraft for Windows or commonly known as Bedrock Edition, click down here and you can also play that here as well as Dungeons. But you have to buy this separately and eventually Minecraft Legends when it is released. But let's go with Minecraft Java. So let's click this play button and get going. So now we've got Minecraft loaded and we have two options. We have multiplayer and single player. We also have Minecraft Realms, but you can look into that in your own time because that's a little bit more complicated. But multiplayer is servers and single player is world stored on your computer. So let's head over to multiplayer and add a server. So there are loads of servers out there, but one of my favorite ones is Hypixel. So to add that, all we have to do is press add server, which is just down here, add server, then type in whatever server name we want. So we can do Hypixel, we can type in whatever we want. We can type in Skywars server if you mainly play Skywars, which is a type of, which is a Minecraft mini game on here. But I'm just gonna type in Hypixel. Then the server address has to be the exact address that Hypixel uses. So Hypixel's address is hypixel.net. And this works, but if you had Hypixel space net, this server address wouldn't work because it's not correct. Now, many different servers have um, different addresses and .net, .com, .co are all sort of um, common suffixes for these. Um, so we can click done and you can see the server is added and we can either double click on that to join or click on it and click join server. You'll notice we'll load in and 
we are on the server with loads and loads of other people. Now, if you are looking for a family-friendly place to play and learn how to play Minecraft, check out my Patreon. You can join me and play on my Patreon server as well as Wild and an awesome community of other Patreon members. But let's have a look at single player. Now, before we go into single player, to leave a multiplayer server, press escape and click disconnect. Then to get out of this server menu, click escape again. Now, with single player, we just click on single player here. Now, I already have worlds here, but you might not have this. So click create new world, click chain type in whatever you want. So I could type in Jax's world and then I can select the game mode. Survival is great for just a bit of a challenge. Hardcore is a big challenge and creative is just for fun building um, and you have unlimited resources. Now there's a small description here of everything and there's a small description on all of these different options. You have like game rules and data packs and more world options. But the basic options here are the game mode and the difficulty and allow cheats on. So the difficulty, I'm gonna make peaceful, so no mobs spawn, and I'm gonna make it creative so I can fly around. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna click create a new world. Now all of this differs slightly for Bedrock, but I definitely suggest playing and learning Java as it's my personal favorite version of the game, as it allows you to learn how to redstone and install mods without taking extra microtransactions, as Bedrock has a lot of those. And it allows for more creative freedom with learning to code um, and educationally. So now you guys know how to install and play Java and how to install uh, Bedrock. So that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment and remember to subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.